What's up guys, Dakota from CGL Fishing here. We are out on 99 Islands Reservoir. We're gonna to try to catch some catfish to eat. It's part of the Broad River. Uh, so the reason we came here is because the Broad River doesn't have any eating advisories. Uh, unfortunately, pretty much every other water body around here does. We're gonna see if we can catch some catfish to take home and eat. Uh, Ethan is with me. Where'd he go? There he is. He is gonna throw his little fishing pole and uh, I'm probably gonna throw something for bass too because I see a lot of top water movement. We're gonna feed our fish in here. Let me cast my fishing pole today. Subscribe. You heard him. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Pull down. And was pulling on it. I just saw it. Yeah, we got him. Finally got something today. Hangs in there for me. Small catfish. Yeah. Small catfish. This is, this is a white bullhead. Neat looking fish. I don't know what the little marks are on the side of him, so I'm gonna let him go. Thought about trying to eat him, but I don't wanna cut him open or find out it's some kind of nasty parasite. Is he on there this time? We got him, finally. I don't know what we got, but we got something. At this point, I don't even care. It's a fish. It's a catfish. All right, nice dark. Dude, that's a big white catfish. Wow. Come here, you. I was just about to start the car. Ethan was hot, wanted to relax in the car for a little bit. And this guy hit it finally. Big old white catfish, man. It's one of the better ones I've seen. It might be the biggest one I've ever caught. Oh, come on. Perfect eating size, too. Oh, geez. Tried to get away. Wow. Yeah, it's a white catfish. That's cool, Daddy. Yeah. Get him back in the water, okay? I'm going to put him in the cooler. We're going to take him home and eat him. We'll see. All right, we got a couple water bottles and they're frozen. All right, I'll start the truck for you. You can sit where you are. All right, go ahead. To admit, this is a species that I have not cleaned before. So I'm cutting right down to the ribs here. Oh no, did you bunk your head? <laughs> oh, Kiss? Yeah. Here comes. 
Watching this and like, what are you doing? I am fully admitting I'm not good at this, guys. And before I was too afraid to show it, so I just wouldn't show the process of cleaning the fish. But I'd rather just show it. Maybe you guys give me some tips and I can learn and do better. You got that right. Oh yeah, right on the rib. places where I feel like yeah on this side especially I did a little worse on the first side but once I got it second side went better I missed a little bit there but overall I can't say I'm too disappointed in that all right we're gonna stick him back in the cooler because the cooler already needs to be cleaned anyway all right now I'm going to remove the skin and these extra pieces. You do extra pieces? Yep. You do extra pieces? It's almost done. It's almost done. You're right. Very close. Be close, Daddy. Da 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 da. He's crazy. I need to sharpen my knife, but should get me through this last fish before I have to do that. This is how I skin a fish. I just put the knife right up against the cutting board, grip the skin on one side and cut. There is a trick if you leave it attached to the fish you can use the tail to hold it but with this fish being so big and my cutting board being so small I figured this would be easier. Look at that. Not too bad of a fillet. When we go to cook it, we'll probably cut a few pieces off, try a different, couple different things. And I'm soaking this in some salt water, and I've got it really salty because um, it'll draw the blood and fishiness out of it. All right, our fish has been soaking. So what we're going to do now, I forgot, I a little bit of... Ooh, where's my cooking spray at? 
There we go. A little bit of cooking spray on a pan. Don't want it too much because we don't want it to be soggy. This recipe is supposed to be crunchy. Let's see, my confidence is, you know. So it's been soaking. I had it in the freezer because I want it to be kind of cold uh, so that the fillets be a little bit more firm. I'm gonna rinse them off now. All right. So if you're curious, this is what our fillets look like. Whitened out nicely. We are going to pat them dry. One paper towel left, nice. Just to get some of the excess moisture off of them. I mean, look how pretty that looks. Ooh, that's gonna be good. All right, excess moisture off. Now what we're going to do is I've got our shake and bake mix. Uh, before we do that, actually, it's not the knife I wanted. Before we do that, before we do that, we're going to cut each fillet in half. Doing this for two reasons: one, it'll fit in the pan better. Two, one of these is going to be cooked in a skillet, just the way I normally cook fish, because I want to see how it tastes without this. So. What this is, is cornflakes that I crushed up because I couldn't find cornflake crumbs. Uh, some Parmesan cheese and garlic powder. Shake that up real nicely. And what we're going to do is we're going to take each of our fillets, dip it in some egg. It's supposed to be egg white, I believe, um, but I'm not good at separating egg whites and egg, egg yolks, so it's, uh, yeah, no, it's egg. All right, put those in there. Rinse my hand off. Shake it up real good. That's why they call it shaking bait. And I like to give it a little press to get the breading stuck on there pretty good. I used to work at uh, Chick-fil-A and that's how we did it there. So We all know Chick-fil-A is the best chicken so hopefully it'll work with fish as well. I'll let the air out of this so I can get a good press. smells so good. I haven't had this since I was a kid. All right, nice coated filet. Lay it onto our oil pan. Tres filets. All right, the rest of this we'll throw away. All right, so the oven is preheating. While the oven is preheating, we're going to try getting our other piece ready. It's gonna make a little bit of a mess, but I'm gonna use a small pan because it's the easiest. Just a little bit of olive oil. I prefer using butter, but I can't figure out how to make it not burn, so olive oil it is. And we'll get that heating up. So what you're going for with this to make sure your oil is ready is that. You want to be able to hear that when you lay it down. And do that to spread it around in the oil. I'm going to set a timer for the fish in the oven. I've never cooked catfish before. It's starting to curl up, so we're gonna flip it just to kind of keep it even. Trying to find the right 
that size lid. Because we'll probably cover it to help it get a little more even cook. Just because it's so thick and it's bunching up so bad. What we're going to do now, a little piece of butter on top and cover it up for a few minutes. The fish is cooking. What? Yeah, we got it cooking. What's the matter with you? Oil is getting soaked up. I don't want it to burn. So. Alright, looking like it's pretty much done. Put a little bit of garlic powder on it. Not garlic salt because we already salted it basically when we soaked it. Nice and flaky. Alright. Let's give this a try, see how it is. Yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> not my favorite fish that I've done in the pan. One, two, three. It's not bad though. This looks good. A little bit hot. We're gonna let it sit, cool off, and then we're gonna try that. This looks really good. It's very juicy. That's really good. Look how juicy, I don't know if you can see on the camera. But I mean, that is just full of juice. Man, that's good right there. All right, you wanna try it? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Make sure it's not too hot. All right. All right, here it goes. Is that yummy? That's too hot, Daddy. Was it yummy? You want some more? Yeah, let's try that again, Daddy. Okay, let me cut it up so it doesn't get too hot. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. The fish was really good. Even Ethan liked it, and he doesn't even like fish. What do you think about that? You like that? Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button to help us go up in the algorithm. We're going to keep doing Catch and Cooks if you guys enjoy that. So let me know now. Let me know down in the comments. You got anything to add? Yeah. What do you want to say? I'll say big watermelon. Big watermelon. Okay. That, well, I don't know what else to say to that. So God bless, guys. Keep on fishing. Try some spots. Hmm, let me turn this up.